Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and I thought we'll kickstart this year with a good old top 10 video. But this time, instead of highlighting the top best variants to use, we're highlighting the top worst variants that need a buff or a rework. We're anticipating a roadmap of cool new features planned for this year, but more than that, we're also waiting for new balance changes that will hopefully come sooner than later. I'm hoping this video can serve as a catalyst to not only get my opinions out there, but also to hear from you guys, my viewers, on what you think. And perhaps maybe if a dev watches this, they'll have an idea on which variants to focus on. Perhaps there are also other variants that I missed that you think will deserve this spot. In that case, please do feel free to drop down your own comment below on what you think are your favorite variants that needs a buff. So that's enough for an introduction for me. Without further ado, let's begin this top 10 variants that desperately need a buff. First one up is Wild Child, and this one particularly sticks out to me because I played her a lot when I was first testing Umbrella. I admit that Wild Child is more playable than some of the other variants in this list, but my problem with her abilities is that she does not provide anything new to what Umbrella's base kit can already offer. Umbrella already has access to plenty of regeneration and can inflict multiple stacks of slime from her moves and blockbusters. Wild Child does exactly the same thing and does not bring anything new to the table. It feels a bit uninspiring and rather redundant to use her at all. I personally would like to see some kind of new payoff that could fit her better. As a wild child and drawing inspiration from Beowulf, I would like to see her inflict, you know, guard break or maybe gain enrage. Something along those lines that gives a wild and brash vibe, kind of like a misbehaving child. I think that will fit her perfectly while bringing something new to the roster of Umbrella's variants. Next we have Raw Nerve, and this is a variant that I've dedicated a whole video on, so I don't want to delve too much on this. To cut the long story short, Raw Nerve has been one of the worst pain wheels strictly because her abilities only activate when she's near death, and by that point, it hardly matters whether the opponent gains permanent death mark and you gain permanent enrage and haste. The ability doesn't matter anymore. Maybe this would be okay in the past, but standards have changed so much and having a health-based ability that activates when you're losing is just significantly inferior. There are defenders with abilities online right from the start of battle. I have my own personal thoughts on ways to make Raw Nerf unique based on her reference, and I'd like to refer y'all to watch that video instead. I'll put down the link in the comments. I propose a new ability to capitalize on her Berserker state by making her blocked attacks deal full damage, which I think is quite unique and has never been done before. Then we have Untouchable, and honestly, she's not the worst of the ones in this list. But I decided to include her here because I think she has so much potential to be a more potent defender or maybe even a mixed hybrid. The ability to simply ignore all damage and gain inflinching is actually pretty good and can be annoying to deal with. I have no complaints there. But personally, I'd like Untouchable to get a new second ability in addition to this. Something that will make her better as a defender or even a mixed hybrid variant. Her reference is a vampire that is virtually unkillable with crazy powerful offense. I'd like Untouchable to gain some kind of offensive ability to make her different than all the other water-based variants that are most of the time strictly defenders. Coming up next we have Big Top, and this was not originally in my list, but after thinking about it for a while, I've realized that Big Top is a really old variant. She's been around since the beginning of the game, and she never saw any real play. If Troublemaker managed to get a buff, I think giving the spot to Big Top for a buff is not much to ask either. I do like her ability to revive and gain some buffs to delay the fight. It's a simple delay tactic that can be annoying to deal with when you have invested a lot in health. But this kind of ability is nothing new now. We've got plenty more variants that can revive themselves and modifiers that literally revives the whole team after just a few seconds. Like Untouchable, I'd like her to gain some additional ability on top of her revival and buffs. I don't know what will be good here, she could 
maybe gain some kind of healing ability, but I feel like this is similar to Last Hope, which barely see any play now as well. Maybe some sort of offensive ability then? I really don't know. I'm leaving the door open here for suggestions from you guys on what new ability could work for Big Top. Another umbrella comes into play with Tidal Traveler, and out of all the umbrellas in the game, I think she's the one that needs the most rework. Because let's face it, her abilities are not great. Puddle needs to have its own unique condition and not simply a copy-paste of Parasol's tears. And frankly, the nature of Puddles does not make it an ideal trap for Tidal's condition. It is so easy to interact with the Puddles and remove it, and just gaining immunity becomes such a hassle. And then we look at Parasol that has extra damage from tears but also on-demand immunity from her taunt. Then assuming we do get immunity, the payoff we get is a simple armor break which is already within Umbrella's kit. This is not new. Perhaps the 50% bonus damage to bubble attacks could be worth it, but I highly doubt so. Tidal Traveler needs a bit more extra care. She needs a new condition for her abilities and a new payoff. I love the unique immunity since no other umbrella has access to that, but she needs to do better. Next we have Private Dick, and this variant is one of those cases where he used to have a unique niche in the past, but as time goes on, his niche has been replaced by a substat that is literally available for everyone. The recent substat changes in resistance completely made Private Dick redundant, not that he was any good in the first place. Fire elements don't have much buffs to make them a great defender, so you often don't even care whether they have high resistance. Private Dick is the only variant that could theoretically resist all debuffs by 100%, but that niche has no use right now. The ability to stun is also just really really weak. I think Private Dick is one variant that needs the most rework. I imagine like a fire offensive big band that is immune to all debuffs and cannot be stopped by Hex or Curse. He needs more offensive abilities and ways to increase his pitiful damage. I'm not opposed to keeping him as a defender, but let's face it, fire defenders are probably the worst kind. We're past the halfway mark here with Ultra Violent, which suffers a very similar problem with Private Dick. In the past, she was a decent fighter with a very unique ability in ignoring defense and armor. And then substat changes came along with a piercing stat, making her redundant because it does something very very similar. Furthermore, her ability is also too narrow, only affecting those with armor and unflinching. The game has evolved so much that there are other defensive buffs that players need to be mindful of when playing such as Outer Block, Evasion, and Final Stand. To fit with her original ability, I propose just giving her easy access to Deadeye, a buff that ignores the opponent's defense, Outer Block, Evasion, Unflinching, and Thorns. The concept is similar to how she works now, but this opens up so much room to make her unique and relevant in the current meta. I'm still also waiting for a variant that can pierce through Final Stand, so maybe she can have that niche too. Then we have Dark Might, the infamous diamond variant that is not far off from being decent. Dark Might suffers from health-based abilities like Raw Nerve, but he doubles down on this by gaining bonus damage when you have dead teammates. So he only becomes terrifying when you're actually close to losing. For a variant that is a reference to one, if not the most popular superhero ever, it's quite sad that this is the ability that he ends up with. The only thing I love about Dark Might is that instant death ability worthy of a diamond, but all the other parts of his ability needs to change. Keep it as a tier 3 blockbuster that is completely fine, but don't make it relevant only when below 50% health. Use a different condition. We've seen some pretty strong and bonkers diamonds as of late, and surely we can do better than this. Dark Might needs a lot of help and honestly, I just can't wait until he's fixed and actually become a relevant diamond variant in this game.
Okay, we're almost at the end here with Armed Forces, a variant that actually got nerfed in the past. But times are different now and with so much more ways to control buffs, Armed Forces have gone deep down into a pretty terrible variant. First of all, 5% chance is too low and needs to be increased. That's a given. Then, both of her abilities need to be combined into a one single ability and then she would need a new second ability to complement that. That alone would be a huge buff to her and make her quite an annoying defender to face. So what new ability should she get? Like Big Top, I'm leaving this suggestion open because there's so much potential on making a good defensive Cerebella variant. Cerebella has a pretty chunky amount of health and I'd love to see a more unique take on her defensive attributes. Say, a reverse don't poke the bear that activates abilities when you deal less damage than you need to. Something like feudal resistance. And maybe for Armed Forces case, it can be an air type of an effect like some kind of meter based ability as well. Regardless, Armed Forces is one variant that is severely outdated and needs a new touch to say irrelevant. Finally, we have GI Jazz as the final variant that needs a buff in this video. GI Jazz is possibly the worst variant in existence. Not only does Big Band's kit is severely lacking, GI Jazz's ability is so counterable that often than not, he doesn't have an ability at all. I've briefly discussed the kind of buff I'd like to see GI Jazz in my Big Band video, but honestly at this point, I just want to see this variant being acknowledged. His ability to gain buffs at a certain health threshold is pretty bad because a single curse or buff removal immediately counters him. Big Band already has trouble being a viable defender despite his main role as the premier defender, so not having any ability to compensate this is pretty bad. I definitely think he has potential to at least be a decent delay tactic, and if Big Ben does get a rework on his kit in the future, I pray to the devs that GI Jazz gets a serious look to make him more relevant. Alright y'all, so that is the end of this video. I highlighted 10 variants that I think deserve the most attention when the next balance patch comes. Now I did not include nerfs in this video because frankly, I'm more interested in buffs than nerfs but I definitely can imagine that some certain variants, maybe 2 or 3, could use a bit of a nerf to bring down their level a bit. I believe these 10 variants that I've showcased needs a rework, a change in their abilities, or a new ability altogether. Coming up with this list was actually quite tough. I had other variants that I had in mind like Windswept and Brain Freeze but I thought those variants just needed slight tweaks or number changes to be useful and not a complete overhaul of their abilities. There are definitely some other contenders for this list that I might have missed and if you think so, feel free to drop down your comments below on what variants you think should receive buffs. So we're going to end it at that. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.